it's been a very eventful morning here at the house in North Carolina. <sighs> We've decided that we were not going to leave Coco upstairs all day and then keep going up and getting her and letting her out and bringing her back upstairs and putting her in the crate and so on and so forth. So Crystal bought one of those long things that you screw into the ground and you put a chain on and you tie her up outside. And that's what we did. And we left enough leeway for her to be able to get up onto the porch in case it rains or anything like that so she has some shelter. And she is deathly afraid of the little chihuahuas. Yes, a pit bull slash bulldog is afraid of the little chihuahuas. So whenever we let out Peanut, who's a beagle, or the chihuahuas, we have to escort them out so that they can get past Coco. And coming back in, they're fine. So... I walked Peanut out and came back in the house while I was vacuuming the living room and I heard Peanut and Coco fighting. So I drop the vacuum, I go running outside and I get between a pit bull slash bulldog, which is Coco, who is a sweetheart and Peanut who is an old dog beagle to break up the fight and yeah I'm wrapped up I didn't go to the doctors um, hopefully I don't have to go I still can move my fingers. I can't bend them all the way down like this. But where I broke my hand in the past is all swollen again. And it's bruising. So I wrapped it. And let's hope that it gets better. I've been icing it already. And it's my right hand, ah. and I can't color. Ah. I'm going to try and color, though, because I do have some projects I have for some people that I wanted to get done and mail out while I'm here. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get some coloring done, even with my hand wrapped up. But... We'll see what happens. The dogs are all fine. No blood, no cuts, nothing on them. Good morning, YouTube. All right, so I uh, have some uh, errands to run. I have to pick up some uh, pharmaceuticals for Val, which I have to see if I can overnight her today. Man, Val managed to hurt herself again. What a surprise. So I have to uh, also send her her uh, wrist brace. And I don't know the details of how she hurt herself except it involved separating dogs that were fighting. So she probably fell. And so I'm gonna stop by the post office as well and see if there's any happy mail in the post office. And then I have to, as usual, pick up food for the cats because they eat so much. So, there's this really beautiful little green lizard here. And he puffs out his chin, or his neck, and it comes out pink. Guys, see him right there? Hi there, little guy. You were bobbing your head at me a minute ago. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can you puff your chin out? Can you puff your chin out? Give me a puff. Give me a puff. I've seen the brown lizards all over the place, but I haven't seen a little green guy until just now. Pretty cool. And I'm pretty close to him. Where you going? Where you going? You going home? You gonna go home after a long day's work? Hey guys! I just got back from the store and I finally bought my protein drink. So I am drinking my protein shakes again. Yay, it's been a while since I had one and it tastes really, really good. And, of course, I couldn't help myself. There was a really, really nice coloring book at Walmart. Yes, another coloring book. I know. That was on sale. So, of course, I picked it up. Inspirational coloring for moms. Meaningful me time, biblical inspiration, delightful de stressing. Flip through and show you a few of the pictures that are in here. Very pretty. For everything, there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven. Whoop, owls. Owls, there you go, Lucy. Some owls for you. And since I am really, really enjoying the bookmarkers, they have bookmarkers in this one as well. Yep. So I am going to follow suit with Maple Poon, and I don't know when yet, but I am going to do some bookmarker giveaways on our channel for you guys. Don't know how we're going to do it yet. But I'll let you know. Anyway, talk with you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right, so I do have some mail. I got some mail. I'll be uh, opening that later and sending some of it on to Val. And my second stop is here. We're at Kaiser Permanente. I need to get some pharmaceuticals for Val. So guys, here we are at the end of another day. It was a pretty interesting day. Um, as you all know, the dogs got into a bit of a fight and I had to get in the middle of it and break it up. I had my hand wrapped up. I have it unwrapped right now just because um, I just washed my hands and did up a few dishes, but uh, Kevin is mailing me out overnight my boxer's brace um, so I can get that on it. Um, my dad's nurse said I should probably go and get it checked out and get it x-rayed again. It kind of looks like it might be broken again, but, um, I don't think I'm going to do that because I do know it needs surgery and, um, they were going to do that back in California before they were going to schedule it before, um, I had to take this visit. So I'm just going to put my boxer's brace on and hope that I can just kind of deal with it until I can get back to California to get it taken care of properly. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I don't know what's been going on back home. <coughs> Still have this horrible cough. Don't know why. <coughs> Hoping to treat my dad to Red Lobster dinner tomorrow night, thanks to Dougie Style. Thank you very much for those gift cards. Um, they have takeout, so uh, we're hoping to do that tomorrow night before the next group of family gets in to visit with the Lone Wolf. He's doing very well, by the way, other than being um, tired and... Um, in pain when he does a lot of stuff. Other than that, he's doing pretty well. <sighs> I'm 
My mother, on the other hand, is having a hard time, but she's hanging in there as best as she can under the circumstances. I cannot wait for Mr. Kevin to arrive. October 11th can't get here soon enough for me. I miss him desperately. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a great big thumbs up. And if you have not done so already, please hit that little red subscribe button down below and help your neighborhood community to grow and share this video with absolutely everybody you know. And thank you guys all for the advice and comments that you left us yesterday in regards to um, our channel and what we can do to make it better and to help it to grow. So we love you all so very much and we couldn't do this without you guys. So thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.